So in my one on one discussion with a lot of candidates uh, who are applying for DevOps and cloud jobs and also talking to people on TalkMate and other sources through my WhatsApp groups, there is one very common pattern that I found and I thought I will address that. And the pattern is that they are people are not getting enough uh, jobs and enough. Uh, they are not being approached by HR and other uh, the job hunters and those uh, agents who usually reach out to you for uh, you know helping you get a job in the uh, right organization. And one common thing that I found was that people have not spent enough time building their LinkedIn profile. Uh, especially in India, people are focused more on Nokri.com and some other platforms. Uh, and usually there is a local player uh, uh, in Australia. There is uh, there is Seek and some other uh, small companies where such jobs have been posted. But now everything is on LinkedIn. I personally know uh, recruiters who would before they check their personal email, their official email, they would look at uh, the kind of uh, attention and engagement they have got on their uh, previous day posts. And based on that, they they start approaching candidates and they perform search from their side. They would actually based on the customer's requirements, they will search on LinkedIn, putting those right keywords and roles. So you can make uh, small, small changes to your LinkedIn uh, profile. Um, some of the things is to have the right role title that that you want to aspire for. So if you are aspiring as a DevOps and cloud engineer, Instead of having skills like Terraform, AWS, all that mentioned in the title, mention the role that you are aspiring for. That's what they will look for. Second, because it's how it works is that the recruiters are going to search for you. You need to have the right keywords in your uh, profile. The right keywords are not there. It will be very plain uh, sort of uh, profile on LinkedIn uh, in the about section and also in the projects that you have done. You would not have mentioned all the roles, responsibilities, the kind of impact your work brought, like uh, some numbers. Uh, did you improve the performance of your developers or the process improved um, your deployment time by how much uh, percentage or number of times, something like that. So mention those keywords, but you again, you can't uh, randomly pick some some uh, fancy keywords like GitOps or DevSecOps and all that and put it in the, in the resume. You need to spend a little bit of time on that. Ensure that they align with the kind of projects that you are doing. Your summary and the keywords, they should go hand in hand. So build those uh, projects, understand those uh, fancy terms in detail, how you can uh, leverage those things. That would be the perfect way. Uh, because otherwise, if they reach you based on those keywords and you are not able to justify that, then also it's a, a sort of a deal breaker and is not adding any any value. You, you're getting a call, but you are not able to convert it. So focus on LinkedIn, focus on the title, uh, the keywords in the in the profile. And believe, believe me or not, like you may get call from other sources as well based on your resume sent to someone, but the hiring manager is going to look at your LinkedIn profile. So it's it's I treat it uh, like a passport, like you can buy a ticket to to any country or you can travel there, but you will need to have a passport. So it's more of more of a, a tool as a passport kind of thing. It will be verified that it has to be uh, authentic. And uh, also there is another trend I saw a lot of people are just posting random stuff, uh, something like day 50 of uh, 90 days of DevOps, and then they keep doing that. There is no pattern in what they are learning. They just post random stuff every day, uh, GCP on day two G and AWS Azure on the subsequent days. There is no pattern coming out and you making it very cluttered uh, uh, LinkedIn profile. Make sure there are key events uh, on your LinkedIn profile. You have won a hackathon. You have presented something in, in uh, at a place you have completed a complex project on maybe on our channel or any other place. Very complex uh, stuff which, which is meaningful where roughly like you have spent a month on that, uh, two months on that. You can publish that. You, you got a certificate from somewhere uh, ensuring that you are certified on AWS or Azure. 
those kind of things you need to put on your LinkedIn, not any random stuff uh, that you learned last two hours or you watched a YouTube video. That will be probably be taken as a uh, sort of uh, will will not make you as a serious candidate. Will the hiring manager may think that uh, that you are not so much serious about things. Uh, these are the two or three things that I wanted to post because um, LinkedIn is a great great platform. I have myself got just just having a good uh, profile on LinkedIn helps you uh, get those calls. In some cases, you don't have to go and find out. Recruiters will be uh, adding you. So in case you are not actively looking at right now, if some recruiters approaches you, you just add them uh, for future and just decline their request that you are not looking right now, but maybe in future. So that way you build your repository because it's it's not a social media platform for friends and family and colleagues to share with. Uh, if you don't add your colleagues and all, it may still be good. Uh, you need to add those people who will who might be useful in future. So keep adding those recruiters, the relevant recruiters in that area, uh, and then based on the country and place, you will you will build a good um, repository, good connection with those people, and when you need them, they will be helpful to you. So follow these uh, basic stuff uh, and and make use of the platform uh, uh, that has been built. 